At the end of this term, I will have devoted 30 years to the important calling of public service, of helping bring together people to solve problems and leave our communities, our beautiful state, and our great nation better than we found it for the next generation. Together, we've worked to find solutions to the opioids crisis, improve forest health, and increase access to high-speed broadband in underserved areas. My team and I have helped thousands of Oregonians get the Social Security, Medicare, and VA benefits that they've earned and deserve. I fought to save the firefighter tanker base in Medford, the VA facility in White City. I've stood up for the farming and ranching and forestry way of life that we know as Eastern Oregon. Rural Oregon values run deeply in my veins. My ancestors came here in 1845 by wagon train. I grew up on a cherry orchard in the Dalles, and I had parents who survived the Great Depression. They taught me the true meaning of community, the importance of giving back, and the value of hard work. That's why I've given it my all for the people and the way of life that we so enjoy in Oregon. Now, based on recent polling, strong fundraising, the backing of my wife and family, I'm confident I could earn another term in the U.S. House of Representatives. I'm also optimistic that there's a path that exists for Republicans to reclaim the majority in the U.S. House, and I could return as chairman of the powerful Energy and Commerce Committee. But I also know that for me, the time has come to pursue new challenges and new opportunities. So I will not seek re-election to the U.S. House of Representatives, nor election to any other office, but instead I will close the public service chapter of my life, thankful for the friends that I've made and the successful work that we've done together. It has been a real honor and a real privilege to represent the people of Oregon's 2nd Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives. Know that I will continue to work as hard as I can every day that remains in my term in office. Thank you very much.